I watched this movie after a period of time when I was feeling incredibly down. As in, I stayed in bed feeling like absolute shit about myself and maybe didn't shower for an unhealthy amount of time because that is what I get like when I stop caring at all. I just don't see the point or care about those sorts of things. I've heard about this movie a lot online, but the description on the website I go to put me off the movie because it sounded like a BL movie that was supporting a terrible age gap and I'm not the sort of person who enjoys watching extreme age gap romances but I kept hearing about it and it was on the list of things I told myself I would watch at some point and since I was recently down and got in a bit of a better mood after taking a shower and listening to Snapshot by Seventeen which had me literally dancing in the shower like an idiot felt like I was in an open enough mood to try watching something new which is very hard for me to do. Starting a movie you have no interest in or any new anime show is very hard for me to do because the show just has to click for me personally and my own mood has to be right for me to actually invest myself in a show. And when I played this movie, I didn't expect this movie to move me the way that it did. This movie had me speechless by the end of it. And I think it's been a long time for an anime movie to just emotionally influence me on a level like this. It might be the first movie since I watched the given movie that has moved me this much, but even with a given, I don't know if it can quite compare to how deep this movie got me feeling. I wasn't, you know, physically crying, but I was feeling so sad and happy at the same time. I remember just putting my palm over my mouth in shock to contain how emotional I was because I didn't want to make too much noise in the middle of the night. Something about this movie feels so intimate and focuses on the small moments in life. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It is a breathtaking coming of age tale, which deals with growing up and discovering one's sexuality, and more importantly, discovering oneself, I would say. It also focuses on found family elements and the importance of cherishing your family in general in the grand scheme of our short lives on this planet because, well, we aren't going to be here for very long. It's sad to say, but it's true. I'm going to be purposely vague describing what the movie is about because I think it's more fun to go in without knowing much. Miyo and Shun first meet by the beach, hence the movie's English name, Stranger by the Beach. Circumstances separate them, and they meet again years later. Will these two finally get together? The movie isn't very long, only running about 55 minutes, and I didn't find myself straying from focusing throughout the runtime of the movie. And as I said before, this movie moved me so much that I was left speechless. I don't know if a fact I wasn't feeling too great the whole week before I watched this on one Saturday, but regardless, this movie just hit me like a ton of bricks and sort of made me question my life even further than I already am. It makes me wish I was living a life like this fully and so honestly, especially for a certain character named Mio in this movie, there's something about how the animators captured him as a person that it made me feel as if I really, really wanted to be so optimistic in like life and like enjoying myself that much in life. It just, the way they captured him was so beautiful. Also, as I said before, the animation is gorgeous and the setting has me wishing I lived in a place that looks so effortlessly beautiful all the time. Like, is it possible to be happier in a prettier looking place? This has me questioning everything. Every single shot and sight in this movie makes you want to jump into that space and setting, or the camera makes you feel as if you're standing near that space and setting yourself. Like, we're looking into these intimate lives of these two characters and seeing their life expand before our eyes by each minute of a movie. At the beginning, it very much feels like we're gaining snapshots of a person's perspective and just the regular life of this person. And I personally enjoy how the movie is quiet at times. And you can very vividly hear only the noises of the environment around them. So you feel immersed in the scene. Even if it's not loud, you hear so much. Sound of cicadas, 
the sound of the wind or the sea, the waves rolling by, the sound of doors sliding open or the creak of wood under feet as your feet pad over the floors. It's these small details I truly appreciate, which makes this movie that much more impactful. If you haven't watched this movie already, go give it a watch. It's about a coming of age story detailing two different characters at once. At first it seems from one character's perspective, but it switches perspective so intimately that it visually feels like an intertwining of two perspectives at once until the end where they join together. Honestly, I didn't expect this movie to obliterate me and I'm still not over it, so if anyone can relate to being absolutely shell-shocked by how damn amazing this movie is, let me know. I totally regret delaying watching this and from now on should probably listen to when I hear about a movie online and instead of putting it off, should try just giving it a chance sooner because maybe it will surprise me just as much as this movie did for me. I don't know if I'm quite ready to rewatch this movie yet because I'm worried I'll lose that initial first watch feeling of awe if I watch it too much. Like, I just want to cherish and sit with these bittersweet emotions for a bit longer and hope that this movie's vibes will somehow carry over into my own measly life. This is a very short video, I just wanted to give a recommendation to this breathtaking movie I watched that had me feeling things that I didn't even know I could feel or put into proper words, which is probably why a lot of this video kind of just sounds like me making analogies and talking a lot about the visuals and the sound design and like the animation, but genuinely these characters truly came to life on the screen and if you really want to see a great coming of age film, this is truly it. I don't know if there's other like movies that could top that initial feeling this this movie gave me when I was watching it after feeling so down for so long. It really got to me and reminded me about the little things that I can appreciate in day-to-day -day life and just to enjoy myself a bit more when we still have time to enjoy ourselves and to not take that time for granted, even though it could be very hard to do when the system around us or the circumstances around us maybe not allows us to be out doing the things that we visualize ourselves doing. But other than that, <laughs> I, I never know how to end these videos. Let me know your thoughts on this movie if you've watched it without giving too many spoilers because I want it to be spoiler free the comments. If you do have spoilers, like leave a spoiler tag in your comment. Just be like all cap spoiler so no one reads it if they don't want to get spoilers. I would love to hear your thoughts on the movie if you have watched it and you can always come back to this video after you've watched it. If you end up watching it after my recommendation, I would love to hear it <laughs> if I've somehow convinced you. Thank you for watching this channel, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll hear from you all in my next video. Bye!